Shalom, Shalom. This is Amawar from the Lions Den Camp of Yasha Allah coming at you guys for another lesson. Hope it's edifying to the Akim, to the Aqua Fiam, to anyone that's out there listening. But before I get into it, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, His Son, and the Holy Prophet, two names. And I want to say, Kal, Halayama, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashem, Ha, Rakak, Radash, Ma'amah. The by honors to the apostles and the editors of GMS and salutations to the occupants pushing this truth around the four corners of the earth. All right, shalom to the whole for you let, and also shalom to the occupant of the, of the lion's day camp of Yasha Allah. And even double honors to my elder as well, a hair one by Yasha Allah of the lion's day camp of Yasha Allah. So I was just going to go into a small lesson dealing with how repentance is important, you know, asking for forgiveness. It's important praying with prayer and supplications is important, man. And something that we should be practicing daily, man, because uh we in the times of judgment, man. All right. We in the times of prophecy. All right. And the Lord's words is not gonna come back to him void, man. So everything that he has said before is it's definitely coming to pass, man. We definitely in the times of World War Three, you know, we're in the times of judgment, all right. And it's, the scripture says that judgment is going to start first in the house of Israel, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So it's best that we ask the Lord for instruction, man. All right. And how do we do that? It's by returning unto the Lord. All right. Asking for forgiveness, repenting, you know, turning from your evil ways, man. Turning from the evil doings, you know, the evil paths, man, because the scripture says the proud... You know, is an abomination to the Lord. So you got to be humble. You have to have a humble spirit coming to the Father and the Son, man. All right. And you got to come to them with truth and sincerity, man. So it's very important that, you know, you hear and hearken unto the, the Lord's words, man. All right. So the first scripture I'm going to jump into is Zechariah chapter 1, uh, verse 3. It says, Therefore, saith unto them, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, turn ye unto me, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will turn unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. All right, so it says, turn, it, turn ye unto me, and I will turn unto you. You know, that's why the scripture says to seek the Lord while he is near, seek him while he is found, you know, because we definitely in that grace period, but when that grace period is up, it's going to be what all hell is going to break loose, and it's going to be a time where it's, it's going to be a time where you're not going to be able to find the Lord, and the Lord ain't going to be able to, you know, hear, hear your your prayers, man, or your cries, because you, you had liberty to return unto the Lord, man. All right, so verse 4 says, Be ye not as your fathers, unto whom the former prophets have cried, saying, Thus said the Lord of hosts, Turn ye now from your evil ways. And from your evil doings, but they did not hear nor hearken unto me, said the Lord. Man, that's what happened back then. You know, even in the times of Egypt, when our people, when the Lord had lifted up his hand, you know, to, to, to show his might, you know, and his strength towards his people and, and, and freed them from the, the hands of, of Pharaoh. You know, he, he even gave them a glimpse of, of, the, of the kingdom that, that flowed with milk and honey. And our people still didn't want to hearken unto the Lord. You know, and that's how rebellious our people is. Two thirds of our people that that is, you know, and that the Lord shows mercy and compassion towards His people, but our people don't. Some some of our people don't want to hearken to the the wholesome words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's why they're gonna be destroyed, man. You know, for lack of knowledge. All right. So let me go to um. Uh, Acts chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, man. So repent, you know, repent ye therefore and be converted. You know, converted with, with, with the truth, man. Could be converted with, with righteousness, man. You know, going from evil to good, man. You know, from wicked to righteousness, man. You know, so repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out, man. And all you and, and how that happens is with that you go to the towards the Lord and do according to what he tells you to do. Fall after his law, statutes, and his commandments, man. The Lord got 
promises and covenants and glory, you know, everlasting life and, you know, everlasting riches, you know, for his people, man. It, it's waiting. We just got to wait patiently, you know. And, and as well as we're going to be redeemed, we're going to be saved from, from salvation. I mean, from, from captivity, man. And, and we're going to be saved, you know what I'm saying, from your, with, with your Hawasha, man. <clears throat> from your Hawasha, you know. So let me go to. Go to. Uh, Proverbs chapter 15. Let me go to verse 32. It says, He that he that refuseth. Let me go to verse 31. It says, The ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul. <clears throat> but he that heareth reproof <clears throat> shall like get of understanding. Again, it says, he that re refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getting, getteth understanding, man, because according to what Hosea 4 and 6 says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. You know, it's just because thou hast rejected knowledge, I'm going to also reject thee. So knowing that, our people are definitely rejecting the, the Lord because why they, they want to follow after their, the ways of, of their heart, you know. Of their mind, you know, and the scripture says the heart is deceitful above all things, man. So if you're not going according to what Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah has planned and set in stone for you to follow, then you're not going according to their will and you're going the wrong way, you know, because that pathway is, is narrow, it's thin and narrow, you know. So he that re refuses instruction despises his own soul, it doesn't have care for his own soul, man. All right. All right, this is um <clears throat> the book of Sirach, chapter 18, verse 14. It says, He have mercy on them that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments, man. So those that's diligently seeking after the Lord, all right, he's going to definitely have mercy on them, you know. That's why it's important to, 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 re to return unto the Lord, man, so that you can be what? To you, so you can receive that mercy man and receive that compassion man and that you know abundant love that the lord shows towards his people man but especially the ones who fear him and love him you know it says he have mercy on them that that receive discipline and that diligently seek after his judgments it says my son oh, like, <clears throat> we'll go down to verse 20 all right it says before judgment examine thyself and in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy, you know. So before judgment, examine thyself, man. You know, and, and examine, examination is, is, is important as well, you know. So you can examine and make sure that you are aligned with your how about Hashem, how about and his words, man. All right. So it's just before judgment, examine thyself. And in the day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. It says, humble thyself before thou be sick. And in the time of sins, show repentance, man. So that's what we got to do, man. You know, we got to show repentance, man. You know, because the scripture says, what well, a righteous man follows seven, t seven times, but he gets back up, you know. So, you know, keep on going, you know. But keep asking the Lord for forgiveness, man. You know, ask the Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, you know, for strength, you know, to keep going. To, to fight that, that good fight, man, because the, it's a definitely a definitely a battle out here, you know. There's no there's no no joke about that, you know. So with that being said, keep fighting the good fight. So let me go to uh let me go to Job chapter thirty six verse ten. It says he openeth also their ear to discipline, and commandeth that they return from iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword and they shall die without knowledge, man. And that's, you know, that's what's going on. You know, and that's what's going to happen. 
you know, again, because Hosea 4 and 6 says, my people are, are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man, you know. So what this says, if they, it says, but if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword, man. And that sword is going to be bathed in blood, man. You know what I'm saying? When the Lord definitely returns because he's coming back to slaughter and to show his anger, you know what I'm saying, to, to fight, you know, to destroy, you know what I'm saying, the wicked. So you don't want to be a part of that side. You want to be a part of the righteous side, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, it's prophesied that what all these nations are going to be in array against Babylon, a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Egypt, a.k.a. Sodom of Gomorrah, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what it's, it's, this place is spiritually, you know? But the scriptures tell us that these other countries are going to be in array against America, and they're going to want to shoot at her in the midst of World War Three, man. All right, so if you want to be rooted in this country or you want to be rooted on this in this society in this uh system all right you're, you're looking to be, you're looking to get destroyed as well as you're going to fall with a great fall you know but if you root yourself on your howard shy you know which is the foundation you know on that solid foundation root, root yourself with your howard shy all right then you will be able to go into that that tower of safety, you know, which is uh, according to Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run over to it and it's safe, man. You know, so you would want to want to go into the house of safety than the house of death or the house, of, you know what I'm saying? The house of sins. You don't want to be there, you know. So it's best that you return to the Lord, you know. And return from the iniquity, man. Because it says, verse 11, If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in, in pleasures, man. It's everlasting life for the Lord, man. That's why the scripture says, To store your riches up in heaven, where moth nor rust or thieves can break new through nor steel, man. All right, this is Second Peter 3, verse 6. It says, Whereby... The world that then was being overflowed with water perish, but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right, so a hey, this 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 earth is is being stored unto the that the day of the. Uh, <clears throat> The great tempest of fire, you know what I'm saying? Because what it says, it says, the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word are kept in store, reserved until fire against the day of judgment. So this place is gonna be burnt up with fervent heat. You know, it's prophesied that 200 million missiles is gonna hit this place, man. You know, so you don't want to be caught up in the in the, the ways of this world. You want to be caught up in the ways of Yahweh Barsham, Yahweh Shah, so that you could be redeemed and, and saved because the scripture says the the righteous is the righteous is going to be scarcely saved man so it's you know you don't want to be caught up in the the whirlwind you know what i'm saying the whirlwinds of the lord man so again verse uh six or seven it says by, it says, but it's going to be kept in store and reserved until fire against the day, of the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. All right, so those ungodly men and, and, and the wicked ones, even the so-called Caucasian race, which is the, the, the ultimate wicked, all right, Esau, all right, even two-thirds of our people that's wicked and that's fallen after Esau and these other nations is going to be destroyed as well, you know. Verse 8 says, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. I should like it. <clears throat> Verse 9. It says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering unto us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come unto repentance, man. Because you know the Lord, you know, you don't 
he don't like, you know, that our people, you know, perish, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, but he, 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 he showed so much mercy to our people, you know what I'm saying? He even said that he's not even going to destroy Israel as a whole, you know what I'm saying? You know, so even even our people who get destroyed on this side is going to be brought back on the other side and in the new kingdom, man. But they're going to be in a righteous state, you know what I'm saying? So the Lord definitely still has compassion for his people, you know. That's why you're supposed to return them to the Lord so you can receive that, man. You know, but this, the scripture says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, though, you know. So it's important that you repent, you know, from your evil doings, man. It's, it's important that you acknowledge your powers, your how while your how shy. It's important that you should acknowledge your how shy because he's the one that's giving you the ability to repent. You know, that's why he came down from his natural, you know, uh, royal state. In his from his throne to the earth, man, and into into the flesh, you know what I'm saying? He he died for our sins, man. You know, so it's it's important that we should you know thank Yahweh Yahweh Shai daily, you know what I'm saying? Asking for forgiveness, man. You know. <clears throat> this is Jeremiah eleven and eleven. It says, therefore, saith the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. And so it's it's a, it's a, it's important that you, you know, chasing after Yahweh while Yahweh shot, seeking him while he is near. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be a time where our people who who at the last minute gonna wanna look look for the Lord, and the Lord ain't gonna wanna hear them, man. All right, because they had all the time in the world to do what they needed to do to get right with Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. So the scripture says again, that said, it says, this, therefore, that said the Lord, behold, I will bring evil upon them which they shall not be able to escape. So it's going to be a time like no other, man. We, we definitely going into the times of Jacob's trouble, man. So it's going to be a time that you're not going to be able to put off, man. You know, it says, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. The scripture says, uh, the Lord, the, the, the Lord's ears are open unto the, the righteous cry. You know, so if you're not a part of the righteous, all right, then your your your, your prayers is going to be an abomination unto the Lord, man. So it's best that you return to Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, while he is near, you know. That being said, I'm going to say Shalom.